on guys welcome to the video if you can already tell this video is brought to you by enlightened ice cream uh, i'm super grateful for the fact that they were nice enough to send me out a care package with all their flavors so i'm super excited to try them out and review them for you guys let's go ahead and get this started we're going to go ahead and move through each of the enlightened flavors and i'm going to try and give you uh, a review on the mcgrath scale whatever that's worth we'll see what happens Side note guys, if you don't recognize the dancing ice cream that I did at the beginning of the video, I highly recommend you go check out Travis S on YouTube. He invented the dancing food and I tried my best to live up to it, but I just can't compete. I'm going to be honest. You're going to have to go watch his videos, tell him I sent you. All right guys, so we're going to go ahead and start this one out with the sea salt caramel. Uh, this one is 80 calories per serving. Uh, the macros on this are 1.5 fat, uh, 17 carb five fiber and seven grams protein. Uh, what I can tell you right now, based on this, uh, this is higher carb uh, than Halo Top, but it's also higher protein and a little bit lower fat. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Go ahead and open this. I already actually opened it up, but check out the inside of this. This looks super good. There's also a, uh, a label on the inside that says to experience full flavor, let soften. It says it's worth the wait. Uh, this is still hard as a rock because it was sitting in dry ice. So, I'm just gonna go for it. Maybe the other ones will be softer. I don't know. Let's try it out though. All right. I know what's happening here. I know what's happening here. This sea salt is honestly really freaking good. I'm like, I like caramel, but caramel ice cream has never been like one of my absolute favorites, but this sea salt caramel is really, really good. So I'd say, I'd say not being a huge caramel fan, I like it a lot. I'd probably give this an eight out of 10, but I'd say if you are a caramel fan, you would absolutely love this. Definitely. Yep. Yeah, definitely good. All right. Next up, we're going to go ahead and try out this mint chocolate chip. Uh, macros on this one are three grams fast, so definitely higher fat than sea salt caramel. Uh, 16 grams carb and seven grams protein. Let's give it a shot. Tastes phenomenal. I'm a big mint fan, so oh man, yeah, you can go with this. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight, eight point five. An 8.5. That's it. All right, guys. For the third ice cream, we're going to go ahead and try out this triple chocolate. Uh, this one is 90 calories per serving. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this. If you guys aren't familiar with, like, Halo Top or any of that kind of stuff, like Enlightened, uh, each pint does have four servings in it. So this one is 90 calories per serving. And per serving, this is 2.5 grams of fat, uh, 18 carb, and 7 protein. Let's go ahead and try this out. So I can say right now, this is definitely, it's definitely really good, but it's also very, very chocolatey. I personally love chocolatey stuff. So I feel like if this were thawed out a little bit more, this would be fantastic. I'm going to love, I mean, I already, I already really like it, but I definitely think that you definitely have to be a chocolate fan to enjoy this as much as I'm enjoying it right now. But uh, I can tell you that it does have, so as I said, it has like those little like swirls in it. It also has little chocolate chips in it too, which is really nice. This is super good though, guys. For just a standard chocolate. Man. I'm have to give this an 8.5 again. 8.5. We're sticking with it. All right, so next up, we got the frozen hot cocoa. Honestly, I've never heard of an ice cream flavor like this before, so I'm super excited for it. If you look inside, you can kind of tell, like, it definitely, like, there's some... Wow, man, when this, there's some marshmallow right here, it definitely looks like, and then it looks like there's probably like chocolate chips and stuff. Uh, I might pull the, uh, I might pull a card here and throw this in the microwave just a little bit, because I feel like all the other ones have been really hard. So I kind of want to soften this up just a little bit, and then maybe I'll make the reviews even better. We'll see. So I'm going to throw it over. 
All right, so just soften this up a little bit. Um, macros on this, by the way, are two and a half grams of fat, 18 carb, and seven grams of protein. So let's go ahead and try this out. Definitely marshmallow mix in here, definitely chocolate chips. And honestly, it like, this 100% like retains uh, a hot chocolate. Like, whatever you imagine hot chocolate to taste like, like it's it's almost like a strong hot chocolate just in ice cream form. This is definitely very true to flavor. Very true to flavor. I like hot chocolate a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. This is this is good guys. This is really good. Frozen hot cocoa. All right, so next up, we've got this caramel oatmeal cookie crunch. Uh, macros on this are three grams of fat, 18 grams carb, and seven grams protein. Here's what the inside looks like. Looks like there's some type of, uh, definitely a caramel, uh, caramel, 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 what do you guys say? There's definitely uh, some sort of whatever swirl inside though. So uh, let's give it a try. So rich. That is so rich. And for anybody that's curious about like this compared to Arctic Zero, I can tell you that this absolutely blows Arctic Zero out of the water. Like any Arctic Zero flavor that I've tried, I haven't tried like any of the newer ones, I guess, but like the, the older ones before they changed some of the labeling. Like I personally was never a fan. I can never eat them. They honestly like kind of hurt my stomach too. And they tasted just so watery and stuff. But like this actually just has such a rich flavor. But granted this also, uh, this entire pint would be 400 calories uh, in comparison to Halo Top. The lowest calorie Halo Top is 240. So the chocolate, chocolate and vanilla are both 240. And then some of the other ones like go up like uh, birthday cake is 280 calories. Uh, I think the highest calorie Halo Top is like 360 with like the red velvet and stuff like that. I know like peanut butter cup is 320. Uh, so this definitely does have a higher calorie, which makes sense that it does taste better uh, than some of these lower calorie alternatives. But I don't know, right now I'm starting to I'm starting to like enlightened a little bit more in Halo Top. Alright guys, so next on the list we've got chocolate chip cookie dough. Honestly, based on the inside, it kind of looks like cookies and cream. Uh doesn't look like a chocolate chip cookie dough normally looks. I don't know, food for thought. But uh this is three grams of fat, 18 grams carb, seven grams protein. Let's go ahead and dive in. <laughs> This is, this is interesting. Um, I definitely like it. Uh, these are all chocolate chips right here. I don't know if there's actually like, so far I'm not seeing any chunks of like cookie dough or anything like that. Um, wait, this might be something. Oh wait, actually, I'll take it back. I think I just found one in here. Let me try that out. I would definitely say this is very good. Um, as far as what chocolate chip cookie dough normally tastes like, um, it's definitely a bit off, but I don't think it's it's off in a bad way. I still think it's very good. Definitely worth trying out. I'd probably give this a, uh, I'd give this a seven, seven and a half. I think that's fair. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely so good, guys. All right, guys, time for the final flavor. We have peanut butter chocolate chip. I'm gonna be honest, I saved this one for last because Anything peanut butter related, I love. Uh, peanut butter Halo Top is my favorite, so I'm very excited to see how this compares to that. Reese Cups, anything like that, you name it. Like I just love anything peanut butter related, so I have very high expectations for this. Uh, macros on this, this is 100 calories per serving, um, and this is four, okay, so four and a half grams of fat, so this is definitely the highest fat one. Uh, 16 grams of carb and eight grams of protein, so this one has higher fat, higher uh, protein. Uh, I can tell you right now that in comparison to the Halo Top, um, this has higher fat, higher protein, and uh, the peanut butter Halo Top is 320 calories, whereas this one is 400. Let me go ahead and show you guys the inside here. Uh, also, the peanut butter Halo Top has like swirls of peanut butter in it, whereas this one obviously is peanut butter chocolate chips, so it has chocolate chips in it. Let's go ahead and try it out. guys this is fantastic it's definitely like the ice cream itself just tastes like 
it tastes like a, it honestly just tastes like a creamy frozen peanut butter, like straight up. And there's, you can tell there's tons, like when I scrape across this, like you just see more and more chocolate chips. Like there's, there's so many in here. Like this is amazing. I highly recommend this guys. Honestly, like it's definitely going to get another nine out of 10 for me. I'm absolutely a fan of this. All right, guys, so that is going to conclude the review. Uh, if I had to rank my top three, uh, I don't know what order I would put them in, but top three for sure would be Oatmeal Cookie Crunch, the Frozen Hot Cocoa, and the Peanut Butter. Uh, all three were amazing. Honestly, I was really happy with every single pint. All right, guys, so I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, that is going to conclude it. I do want to end by saying that I do apologize for not having as much content up on YouTube. I'm currently in the process of getting a new phone. Right now, I current I have a uh, Galaxy S6, and I'm going to be switching to the iPhone 7s or the iPhone 7 Plus, whatever it is. I just know that it has like a, a double lens or something on the back, and that the camera quality is apparently amazing. Uh, 4K video stuff like that, and my goal is to really like be able to put high quality stuff up for you guys, and that's really a goal of mine. I'm still learning, so. Hopefully, I will be getting over Thanksgiving break uh, next week. So hopefully, starting then, I'll be able to start pumping out content for you guys. But if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe. It really will help me out. It'll help me grow. I'm super excited. And uh, absolutely, guys, like 100% recommend Enlighten. Check them out. Absolutely go for it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you guys in the next one.